Today for lunch, I want to make salty toast. So if you remember, I tried making toast for the first time in one of my former videos and it was really good. But this time I want to make I want to make toast but for lunch, so it has to be salty. So I got some ideas from Pinterest and I have not enough things on my fridge to do that, so we're going to go shopping. As many other countries, I guess in Europe and other part of the world, we have some shortage here in France, mainly oil, of course, uh, but other food items too. So I'm here to see what it is like in the shop, in the world of the to shop. I don't think it's going to impact what I'm going to buy today for the toast, but we'll see. Look at this beautiful blue sky. Such a beautiful weather. I'm really happy because today it's a beautiful day, but the temperatures are back to normal so it's like 11 in the morning it's 20 21 celsius which is great not too hot not too cold we like these kind of temperatures I just got a bunch, I mean, not many stuff for the toes that I'm gonna do after a little later. Soon. <laughs> so, about the food shortage, um, I did not see many food shortage besides actually the, the oil and the mustard. Maybe there were others, but I did not, you know, do the walk through the whole store. The prices, though, <laughs> have, have ri risen up, I think you say, ri rised up. For sure, um, even more than the last time I talked about in my video about grocery stores and the price rises, rising, um, yeah, I can really see that. So now it's almost noon, but it's not really noon, but it's almost noon. <laughs> so in my head, it's it's already lunchtime. So I think I'm gonna get, you know, get started with the toast. Lucky me! Lucky me! My, my boyfriend has a mustard item <laughs> in his fridge and it's something that you can't find anymore in the store right now. So I'm actually pretty lucky. I'm gonna use it for my toast. So if I understood well, you don't have any specific recipe for toast. Um, I think it's just you take some bread, you toast it and you put whatever you want on it and then you toast it again. And I guess like cheese is a big part of it. Maybe, maybe not, I don't know. So I got a bunch of stuff here and I'm just gonna make something that looks great and hopefully tastes great too. Voy a cantar oh. esta canción oh, no. con mucho cariño de mi corazón. <laughs> a la República. I'm supposed to make this as a whole like that. I'm using like it's it's nuts, not peanut. Peanut is something else, but yeah, nuts oil as uh, as as my oil. I think it's a little better than the. It's it's more expensive for sure, but I mean I don't use not much anyway. Música, te traigo música, música, música de la República. Ajá. 
them in the oven and they honestly I think I think it look good you know but I'm not sure about the taste of the whole mix I did but we'll see anyway. This song never gets old. I really love it. That's how it looks like after the oven. A little, yeah, a little different. Um, oh yeah, let's taste it. <laughs> it's actually really good. Wow. It was so easy to make. I'm reading this book. Um, it's this part is in Spanish and this part is in French, and all pages are like that. It's it's really nice and uh, look at the back when I started French Tastic I made a lot of these it's actually stickers that you can remove and you know um, stick on on anything yeah by the bakery on my way home and I got I got something that you can find actually at every <laughs> it's, <big. laughs> it's it's really big. I guess this is a kind of thing that you can find in literally every bakery here in France each bakery is gonna have a different name for it so what we usually call it is pain suisse this bread I guess I could translate it and yeah, in this bakery they call it pâte d'ours, which is bear's po. If, if you use po for bear, but I'm not sure. Yeah, and it's it's really good. It smells really good. Guys, a little too big, but I like wearing it anyway. So, guys, I I was thinking about you know my next videos and. I actually came across my first uh, YouTube, my first uh, written book. I don't know how you call that. Where I jot down my YouTube ideas when I was thinking of creating a YouTube channel. So it was a few years ago. This is funny because I have like there is some different names uh, for the channel that I wrote down and. I mean, this channel could have had like a really weird name. <laughs> Nowadays, I have a lot of comments from people coming from French Tastic on French Tastic Inspirations, telling me, "Oh, so you here? Uh, uh, I was wondering what you you were up to nowadays and all." And uh, a lot of them tell me that my English has become a lot better. And it feels good, you know, because. I mean, I'm basically talking to myself or a camera uh, all the time, so I only can correct myself when I hear myself or when I, you know, hear it in, in, in or when I just, yeah, listen to people or just, I mean, yeah, it's it's a huge process 
when you're learning a language by yourself and you're not really in the, the best environment, you know. So I mean, yeah, it just, it's just it's great to know that my English is improving with time. <laughs> you know, when I started thinking about doing the YouTube channel, I really had this idea of sharing with the world, meeting people from different cultures and helping those differences to be seen not as a bad thing but as a good thing or a neutral thing uh, for you know people around the world because of you know racism and all I really wanted to have an impact on that it's been a long way you know the channel ended up becoming a reaction channel because of covid or thanks to covid <laughs> don't really know how to put it and I met a lot of you guys through those reactions um, you know I mean, not in the comments, not in real life, but I learned a lot about cultures through music, especially, and it was nice. But after COVID kind of ended, you know, it was time to move on and go back to my real will <laughs> of, of creating a channel where I can explore the world. And, um, well, that's what we we're doing on French Test Expressions. But, I mean, you know, the more the channel grows, my second channel, the more, I mean, things change, you know, along the way. I'm not really sure what I want to, I know I want to explore the world, I know I want to meet people, and I know I want to share that with all of you guys to give you this point of view. I'm growing, I'm, I'm getting experiences, and my opinions are evolving and, and all that. And even though the, the core, the core of the channel, which is exploring the world, meeting people, and, and and sharing all that with, with you guys is the same. It's it's very vast. So yeah, you know, nowadays I'm I'm just sometimes I'm having a hard time niching myself on YouTube because the word explore or exploring is is really vast and and I want to I want to explore the world, but it's it's uh, you know when you're on YouTube it's you have to niche down if you want to be successful because people are coming back for a certain type of thing. So if you're going you know in in every way. It's, it's not gonna work, which we saw with French Tastic. <laughs> with all those different reactions and videos, all my subscribers were coming from a ton of different um, places, which ended up becoming a weird type of, of channel, I guess, in the end. Not a channel that could be successful uh, on the long term, definitely. But that's another, another thing. Well, yeah, I think what I want to just, you know, what I want to say here is that nowadays I'm not really sure you guys are enjoying what I'm doing um, and I'm not really sure it's good enough and all and, you know, when I really work on videos like the one in stress bores and calmer those videos don't really work well on YouTube but when I do something like just a simple vlog at home with the cooking and all, those videos work a lot and, and it, it is frustrating because the amount of work I'm putting in the results I'm getting are just so different and sometimes I'm like maybe I just I don't I don't have to work this hard you know but the results are, are, are so like <laughs> fucked up some days I'm like wow this I, I don't know I guess just being myself and and, and showing you a raw side of, of the life in France is something you guys are more interested in than all those videos I'm, I'm, I'm creating around, you know, um, visiting a city, you know, or maybe this is a way I do it that, you know, you're not really interested in it. I don't know. What I know is that I'm just gonna keep going forward <laughs> and 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 put videos on this channel and more, more importantly I'm gonna keep exploring this world and meeting you guys and know more about those differences and those cultures and and obviously share all that with you and give you a point of view that you may not know and that could change your opinions for the better <laughs> I think this topic I'd like to to really talk about it deeper and all in a, you know in another video because it's hard for me to just explain it. Explain. It. There's just so many things I want to explain about French Tastic and about French Tastic explorations and about stuff and all. But I don't think it's the time right now, or maybe I, I missed the time. <laughs> By the way, uh, guys, don't forget that on another uh, thing, I have I have three Pascal to send. So um, it was from the Strasbourg video. So if you want to have a chance to win one of this bus card, you just have to comment the video and like it will help. And if you share it, it will really help the algorithm, but <laughs> I'm not asking for much. But yeah, uh, I'm going to choose three of you in those comments 
uh, from the Strasbourg video, I guess. I guess I'm gonna leave a few days, so next week, I guess. Five, five more days will be great. And yeah.